Okay, so loyal fans lined up for hours to be the first to see the movie that opened at midnight, and it has paid off. Some entertainment, listen to this, at midnight sales, top $26 million, beating a record set by Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, helping push the ticket sales are not just the typical teenage girls, it's their moms, too. One mom even showed up with red eyes in reference to the bad vampires in the movie. Here she is. Actually, I got a big high five from Kellen Lutz tonight. He liked them a lot. To me, it's one of the best love stories because it's Romeo and Juliet. It's Withering Heights. It's Pride and Prejudice. It's everything rolled up into one. The woman who wrote it, she she took something from a dream and turned it into something, you know, to share with everybody in all ages. You know, it's not just a teen movie. Well, New Moon has catapulted the young actors of Twilight into the spotlight. Joining us now to talk about why this is such a huge sensation is Melanie Bromley, West Coast Bureau Chief for Us Weekly. Melanie, thanks for joining us. So, you know, this is My a pleasure. lot of money here, record-breaking money, especially at a time when people really have to count their dollars wisely and where they choose to spend. Uh, but I was trying to think of one movie where I... Me and my mom exchanged high fives over how hot the guy was, and I cannot think of one. But this is remarkable in that mothers and daughters are really into this. That's right. It's kind of it's tapping into that first love that we all had. It's kind of, you know, Edward is the ultimate bad boy. He could obviously kill Bella if um, if he bit her. And so it's kind of I think that young women and old women relate to that. We've all had that person, the bad boy that we fell in love with. And that's what this film is really, really kind of attracted. That's why it's so attractive to so many different age groups. 87 percent of the people who are going to go see this are women. Um, what is it with this formula of uh, vampires? that's turned out to be a success in Hollywood. It's just, it's kind of very seductive, isn't it? it it's a, it's a bad, the bad side of people, but they're, they're evil, they're kind of, um, they're dangerous, but they look like humans. So it's a very kind of seductive look, and that's why people love it. It's not like the bad boys in this or, or the bad characters don't look like humans, they do. And I think that's why it's worked so well. And it's a real phenomenon at the moment. It's something people can't get enough of. More and more TV shows are being developed. MTV, I think, are developing one as well. So it's just something that, that's having a real um, craze at the moment. Melanie, what, uh, a week ago we talked about the movie 2012, and there's so much interest in that because a lot of people out there seem to think that maybe the world is going to come to an end. Vampires have such a, a mythology around them in American culture. Could that be part of it? Not that people really believe in vampires, but at least there's a familiarity with that genre. Well, it's just something that people are attracted to. Like, we love this kind of, this idea of fantasy. And it's, it's different from um, the Lord of the Rings and those kind of films, because this is also about love. And that's why this film is so successful, because it's about love. That's ultimately what's at the heart of this and what's driving this phenomenon at the moment. All right, Melanie, thank you very much for joining us. Greatly appreciated. And David, I, I think it's cute how you tried to take it to a scientific level. Maybe this is about, you know, what we think. It's about love. David, it's about three shirtless Hi. boys that we kept showing, and the moms thinking it's hot and they love, and it's you heard her, she said hot and sexy about 15 times during that interview. Yeah, but to be fair, and, and maybe I sort of overstated, there are people out there, Tamron, who believe in vampires and yeah. believe that vampires have the ability to do good, so you know, whatever. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> okay, David.